Hi there, it's Alex from One to Call here. Um, I've just recorded a really quick video um, just to go through one small bit on using Microsoft Teams live events, which I've been using a lot recently. It's really brilliant. It's dead easy to use. There's just one small bit that always uh, confuses me and delays me a little bit when I'm trying to get started. So uh, I'm reusing uh, an, an old event that I've, I've just used just as a demo. So as the producer of the event, I join the event. I'll uh, unmute my mic and I'll show myself. There I am. Hello. And I click join now. And there we go. So what was, when you join, you're not going live straight away. You can see here we're in pre-live. So that means no one can see anything um, relating to this event. The main bit I'm concerned about is here is how you actually launch elements into the event and put it live for the people that are viewing. So basically the way it works is down in this bottom section are the things you, the options you've got to show. And then you've got your queue which shows you what's coming next and then live, the things that is live. Now, don't worry about clicking on any of these. Nothing goes, if anything's gonna go live, it gives you a warning before you go live on the actual event so that people can see. But what we need to do is get stuff into this square first so then we can move it into this square by sending live. Um, if you're using the webcam, it's easy enough to click on yourself there, but that's not what I want to demo. I've got a, a PowerPoint presentation here, which is what I want to demo to my uh, viewers. And obviously I only want that PowerPoint. So I don't, you can share desktop, but I don't want them to see my emails and things like that. So um, what I want to do is to share this demo. So we click on share. And what because sometimes confusing to me is I would expect from an interface point of view that I would be able to move this into this window or click and it'd move into the queue and things like that. That's not quite how it works. What you do is you click on the item and it pops up like this. And that's why it's sometimes confusing because it's like, so am I demoing that now? Am I live with that? I don't really know what's happening, but you're not live yet. If you go back into your window, what's happened there is you've selected so from the window for the options you have from your window from your pc you've selected the powerpoint as the option to represent your desktop if you like so then what you can do is select that to go into your queue and send that live so that's what's showing to the audience and you notice how there's a start until you click that start, nothing's going live on your event. It's still pre-live here. So I can still click, pop myself up there just in case I want to go on live. I mean, you might want to do it the other way around. So you might want to start the meeting by introducing yourself and line up the content. But what you'll notice, so although, I mean, if I was going to go and present that, I would just go uh, into presentation mode, but obviously I'd lose my controls then. Uh, it's easier to do this with two screens I'll say that as well. Um, I'm just working at home today, so I haven't got my extra screens. Um, but if I, so for instance, you can see that this is not a screen share because if I uh, open up this other browser that I had an option from, you can see that that's not popping up here. So it's sticking with the PowerPoint. So if you need to fire, quickly fire off an email to someone else while you're, pre while you're in presentation mode, you can do that rest assured that um, the people on the other end of the webinar aren't seeing that. So whenever you're ready, let's say, uh, right, okay, uh, you know, I'm not going to bother introducing myself via the webcam. I'm going to go straight to my presentation. As soon as you're ready to go, you click start. Continue. And then... Uh, if I then start my presentation, I can go from the beginning. So then that's live. The people on the other end of the webinar can see me and I can talk them through this presentation as it is. So that, that's just a small element that was kind of confusing me from an interface point of view. Um, so I thought I'd do this video. I'm all over the place now, look, <laughs> three different windows. I just do this video to um, help anyone else out there who's having the same issue. I hope it's helped. Uh, if you want to find a little bit more about easy direct routing from OnceCall, go to oncecall.net forward slash teams 
uh, you can give us a call on the number on screen, um, uh, email us uh, sales at once call .net if you want a bit more information, or you can get us on social media. Our accounts across most are one to call uh, at once call UK. Uh, thanks for watching.